Necessary goods, such as clothing, typically are distributed to each family at a designated time each year, although colonies differ in such administrative practices. This truly communal sharing of all things separates Hutterites even from other Anabaptist traditions, such as the Amish or the Mennonites. Like those communities, however, the Hutterites reserve baptism for adults. Years of preparation and an examination before the community precede the momentous decision. No Hutterite is ever required to be baptized, but only the baptized can marry or hold an office of leadership. Life in a Hutterite community is centered around work, both to maintain the colony's independence from the world and to ensure that each member avoids the temptations of idleness. To a Hutterite, Honest work will always involve labor. To buy goods and resell them at a profit with no labor of one's own is sinful. A new colony will be founded whenever an existing colony has too many members to keep everyone occupied with work. The workday can begin as early as 3.30 in the morning and end as late as 10 at night. Women perform household tasks such as laundry, cleaning, or preparing the colony's communal meals. Men typically work in agriculture or agriculture-related specialties such as repairing machinery. To ensure that everyone's time is occupied, men who work in agriculture during the summer often spend the winter learning a different trade. Tasks are assigned by community leaders, taking into account each member's abilities. Although there is plenty of work to fill the day, ample time is allowed for breaks and meals. Men who complete their work early often will assist those who have not, so that the community's work as a whole is completed. With time rigidly structured and minutely divided into tasks, workdays pass quickly. Meals are eaten by the entire colony together, with children and young teenagers seated in a separate dining area from adults. Although everyone's work is valuable, certain occupations hold higher status in the community. Special respect is afforded to the preacher, the leader of the colony, his assistants, and the teacher responsible for instructing Hutterite children in German, the language of their religious life. Each colony is governed by a council of these men, plus a small number of other community elders. In addition to the German teacher for religious subjects, another teacher, a carefully selected outsider with a state teaching license, is hired to teach children in English such secular subjects as mathematics, reading, and science. Although minor juvenile disobedience often is conveniently overlooked, children and teenagers are not exempt from the requirement that they contribute to the colony. At home, in German school, and throughout the colony, 
children are socialized into an intricate system of rules and expectations, by which what is good for the individual is melted into what is good for the colony. A typical Hutterite family today will have from three to five children. Families of ten or more children that were typical a few decades ago are no longer common, but a Hutterite woman still usually has more children than her counterpart in the general population. The main community building is usually located at the center of a Hutterite colony, flanked by longhouses of apartments. But these living spaces are not an individual or a family's private space to withdraw from the colony. They too belong to the community, and members enter one another's homes at will. On Sundays, the work schedule is lessened to observe a day of rest, though how much rest varies from one colony to another. Worship services are held in the morning and late afternoon. Although Hutterites do not construct churches in the usual sense, they do create space in a common building for Sunday worship and daily gatherings for prayer. Hutterites take communion once a year on the Monday after Easter. Like other church-going Christians, Hutterites sit patiently through a sermon. But the words are not written by their preacher. As part of his training, each Hutterite preacher copies, by hand, a set of several hundred sermons composed centuries ago in the early years of the Hutterite tradition. Preaching consists mainly of selecting an appropriate sermon and inspiring the colony with a properly stylized delivery. Like Hutterite Bibles, songbooks, and religious teaching of children, sermons are still delivered in the same German in which they were written.